Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Get a 
cheer, because you're such a great cheerleader. Have you ever played softball? How about football or basketball? You have to be in good shape. So let's do an exercise that'll help make you strong and make you think fast, too. I'll sing a song that names different parts of your body, and you touch the part I name. Right when I name it. First, you're going to touch your head, and then your shoulders, and then knees and toes. Here we go. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, touch your elbow, touch your nose. That was pretty good, but we could use some more practice, so let's try it again. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, touch your elbow, touch your nose. Now we're going to try it backwards. Get ready to touch your toes first. Toes and knees and shoulders and head, shoulders and head, shoulders and head. Toes and knees and shoulders and head, did you touch the things I said? Hey, pal, I've got a problem, and I need your help. I was supposed to pick up some football equipment and bring it down to the football field. But when I got to the equipment room, everything was a mess. The bats and gloves and helmets were all over the place. You can help me put the things back where they belong. Listen carefully. Which one does not belong in a baseball game? A bat, a catcher's mitt, or a tennis racket? Well, a baseball batter uses a bat, and a baseball catcher uses a catcher's mitt. So the answer is a tennis racket. Here comes another one. Listen and tell me which one does not belong. Which one does not belong in a basketball game? A basketball, a basketball net, or a boxing glove? If you said a boxing glove, you got it right. A boxing glove does not belong in a basketball game. Now let's try another one. Which one does not belong in a football game? A football, a hockey stick, or a helmet? The answer is a hockey stick. Hey, you know a lot about sports, and that's a fact. If you really want to be good at sports, you got to practice. So let's play a game of Simon Says and practice some sports, too. When I say Simon Says kick the ball, you kick just like you do in soccer. When I say Simon Says bounce the ball, you pretend you're bouncing the ball in the basketball game. When I say Simon Says throw the ball, you pretend you're throwing a baseball to home plate. But remember, if Simon doesn't say to do something, don't you do it. Ready? Here we go. Simon says, kick the ball. Simon says, throw the ball. Simon says, bounce the ball. Kick the ball. I hope you didn't kick that time, because Simon didn't say to. Let's play some more. Simon says, kick the ball. Simon says, bounce the ball. Simon says, throw the ball. Bounce the ball. Uh-oh, Simon didn't say to. Only do it if Simon says. Simon says, bounce the ball. Simon says, throw the ball. Kick the ball. Uh-uh-uh. Simon didn't say to. Now, Simon says, kick the ball. Simon says, bounce the ball. Simon says, throw the ball up in the air. Simon says, throw the ball higher. Simon says, he threw the ball so high, it didn't come down. <laughs> Simon says, he's really glad you're on his team. And that's a fact. Hiya, champ. It's time for another make-believe adventure with Quirky's All-Stars. We're playing in the baseball championship against the Kokomo Kings. It's the top of the ninth inning, and the score is all tied up, three to three. So take your position in center field and get ready. It's time to play ball. Okay, pal. I'm going to try to keep these guys from scoring but my pigeon arm's getting kind of tired. I might have to bring you in to relieve me. So stay loose out there. Here's the batter, and here's the pitch. Oh, he hit it into center. Get ready to field it, champ. 
bend down and catch it. And throw it back to the infield. That's it. Okay, man on first. And here comes the next batter. Get ready out there. He may hit the ball your way. There's the pitch. And uh-oh, he gave it a real whack. It's a long fly ball to center. Don't let it go over your head. Reach up high. Way to go. You caught it. Now let's see if I can get the next batter. Here's the pitch. Oh, no. He hit it way over your head. Run it down, buddy, and try to throw the runner out at home plate. Give it your best throw. Oh, wow. The umpire called him safe. I don't believe it. The Kings are leading four to three. Well, champ, I think it's time for you to come in and pitch. I'll take your place in center field. Okay, here's the situation. There's one out and a man on second base. You gotta get two more outs, and then we get our turn at bat. So take your three warm-up pitches. Ready? Throw! That's one. Now, throw! That's two. And, throw! That's three. Good. Now let's get to work. Here's the king's third baseman. He's a line drive hitter. So pitch him inside. Throw him a curveball first. Strike one. Good pitch. Now try a sinker ball. Low and inside. Whoa, he hit a grounder. And he's out at first base. Good going, champ. That's two outs. One more to go, and then we're up at that. But here comes the king's home run hitter. Boy, oh boy, he's going to be a tough out. Maybe we should walk him and pitch to the next batter. What do you think, champ? I'm with you. Let's take our chances with the big guy. Better throw him a fastball first. Wind up and pitch. Strike one. He swung right over it. Okay, now, how about a curveball on the outside corner? Take your wind up and pitch. Strike two. All right, I bet you he'll be looking for another fastball. So let's fool him. Throw your sinker ball low and inside. Get ready and pitch. Strike three. You did it. You struck out their best hitter. Way to go, champ. But the fun's not over yet. It's our turn at bat. We're losing four to three. And this is our last chance. I'm up first, and you're on deck. Wish me luck. I think I'll try to hit the first pitch. And here it comes. I did it. I hit a single to left field. Okay, champ. It's all up to you now. Pick up your bat and take a couple of practice swings. Now dig in at that plate. If you hit a home run, we win the game. Here comes the first pitch. Swing. Strike one. That was a high fastball. And you swung right over it. Just wait for a good pitch, buddy. Here it comes and swing. Ooh, you fouled it off. Strike two. Okay, pal, this is it. You got one more swing, so make it a good one. Better get ready for another fastball. And here's the pitch. Swing. Wowee, you hit it. What a blast. It's going, it's going, it's gone. A two-on homer. You did it, champ. We won the game. And the championship, too. Way to go, slugger. You're a super all-star. And that's a fact. If you want, you can turn my tape over now. And we can play some more. Or we can take a time out. But whatever you do, 